didn't I tell you that I'd be oversleeping in the morning? And that is what exactly happened. I woke up at around 10 o'clock today. Good morning. I called up Asif today in order to inquire about how are the restrictions of the lockdown, whether the people are accepting the lockdown fully and staying indoors or whether the people are doing the same thing that they used to do that is tell that I'm going to buy medicines and they just roam around like that. To my amazement Asif told me that the police are actually lati charging people who are coming out for no reason. Yeah seriously bro they are doing that and if you tell that you are coming to get medicines and when they catch you without medicines they are whacking. Asif was telling me that he, he has been looking at the people from his terrace getting whacked. Like seriously dude. Until the elections are done, everything is normal. The elections are done, everything is done. Yeah, I, I know exactly, okay. We are going through a pandemic and people are supposed to stay indoors. But why only after the elections are over? Why not during the time of elections? The cases are rising back then as well. Are the votes of people actually more important than the people who are actually voting for you? what I have been feeling since the past month since the past couple of months the elections are there, sir. until then everything is open as soon as the elections are over boom close everything this had to be closed since the past couple of months at least and right before elections not during the time of elections even before the election started things had to go this way not post elections that is what I felt Anyway, let's start our day. It's already almost 12 o'clock. 11.43, 11.43, bro. So a couple of weeks back, I ordered this personal weighing scale for myself because I had been working out and well, I can't go outside to check how much weight I've lost because I do that regularly on a very regular basis. Knowing exactly how much I've burned, how much I've lost, motivates me to work out more so that's the reason why I bought it it's been like four or five days since I got it delivered let's check my weight right now oh God, please be like 80 please really hope I go below 80 what 80.1 80.1 Terrible. The reason why I've come to the store is, well, the vlog that is supposed to be live today, that is based on the national food of India, Maggi. And well, I don't have any thumbnail yet for that. The vlog is edited, uploaded, scheduled, but yes, I don't have a thumbnail for that. And that's the reason why I've come down to the store, to get a picture clicked. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open my camera, my phone's camera, and Set a timer, 3 seconds will be more than enough. Get ready for the picture, like this. Oh, sorry, like this. Come on. The thumbnail is ready. The thumbnail is ready. <laughs> now it's almost time for lunch. It's 11.48 in the morning. The weather here in Kalimpong has changed drastically over the course of a couple of years. Yesterday it was literally very warm and a few days back it was very hot and today it's so chilly. The wind is blowing like crazy and it's so cold. I won't say it's like as cold as winter but for this month, for this season, it's actually pretty cold. Today we complete 10 days of vlogging. This is the 10th day of my daily lifestyle vlogs and should I say I'm super hyped. First today I actually wanted to make videos on totally different things. First thing that I had on my mind was making a spicy noodle challenge a ramen vlog with my mom. That wasn't possible because I woke up pretty late in the morning and not just that. My mom is pretty busy in her own work. The next vlog that I wanted to make was to visit the cliff part of St. Augustine School Kalimpong. That is Sass Cliff. I wanted to make a vlog about that to talk about how we used to spend our childhood days 
in the school. Sometimes when we used to bunk school, we used to visit there. I used to I actually try to, you know, just recreate those memories that I have lived as a Sasolian back then. In a couple of days, I'm gonna make those vlogs and what else? But until then, you have to bear with me on this regular lifestyle vlog of mine where I'm just gonna talk to you. Because even shooting cinematic shots at your home is gonna be very difficult. You can do that for one or two days, but after those couple of days, what are you gonna do? You just can't include similar cinematic shots every single time you come up with a vlog. So it's very difficult to make cinematic vlogs as well, staying at home, staying indoors. One or two days, you are gonna be just find them multiple places where you can set a camera and you know get shots from multiple angles. But after a couple of days, everything's gonna be over. What after that? The only thing that you can do after those couple of days is talk. And that is the only thing that I can do right now. So my lunch is ready. And as always, chapati, roti, that is a combination of potatoes and some leafy vegetables, green leafy vegetables, karela or bitter cod. I'm actually cutting down on my carbs, so that's the reason why I'm not eating rice, but here I am eating potatoes. It's not like I don't eat rice at all. Maybe once or twice a week I eat rice. I've been working out that way and... You know by Ashmita's birthday, I wanna get a bit toned. Is it too much to ask for? You do try to maintain your physical health. At least in the situation that we are in right now. Now immunity plays the most important role. It doesn't mean you have to have 6 or 8 pack abs. No, I'm not telling that. Just be physically fit, just be healthier than what you are today. I seriously didn't start my workout once again I'm thinking that I will have 6 or 8 pack abs. That's not what I want, okay? For that you need a lot of discipline, you have to eat specific foods, you have to cut down on specific foods. I just can't do that. For me, I'm gonna be healthy. My immunity is gonna be strong. And when I wear my clothes, I gotta look decent. That's much more than enough. I don't want to take my clothes off and you know take pictures on my Instagram or shoot cinematic shots of me wearing clothes. I don't want that. So for me, it's just looking good and most importantly, feeling healthier. To create this thumbnail, it literally took me around 30 to 40 minutes. See, that is the amount of hard work I'm putting into my vlogs right now. Earlier, I used to have my own professional thumbnail maker, my cousin Adam James, who used to help me making those thumbnails. Let me tell you, he's one crazy photo editor. He does photo editing really well, and that's the reason why I used to ask him to make my thumbnails when we used to live, live together. But now, we live apart. He's in Darjeeling, and I'm in Kalimpong. And nowadays, I'm making daily vlogs, so it's going to be very difficult for me to ask him for his free time to make thumbnails for me. So what I do is... Sometimes when I have very special vlogs that time I request him to make thumbnails for me and he doesn't decline, he usually does that every single time I ask him. But as they say, you need to get your feet on the dirt if you have to learn something, right? So that is the reason why I'm learning to make thumbnails on my own. It actually even takes me more time to create a thumbnail than sh uh, shooting a vlog that's around 5 minutes. Yes, you heard that right. It takes me more time to create a simple thumbnail than to create a vlog of 5 minutes or so. Almost 3 o'clock in the evening and it has started to drizzle a bit. And this concludes the day 10 of my daily lifestyle vlogs. I haven't been able to give you great cinematic videos, great travel vlogs that I prefer to give you but you already know the situation we are in and you can't even blame me for not being able to produce such great quality contents like I used to back in those days. But I really hope once this pandemic gets over for good, that time I'm gonna be able to travel once again, I'm gonna be able to deliver those kind of contents once again. But until next time, this is your brother, the vlogger from the hills, Priyam Gurung, and I will see you very very soon. Till then, take care, bye bye, and cheers to life. And I really hope that you and your family are staying in your folks are safe. Much love and regards to your family. See you folks tomorrow. Ciao. Thank you.